Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 16 of Space Engineers. So whereabouts are we, are you asking? Well, I had an idea. I watched a movie featuring Eddie Murphy, and you know who that guy is, he's, he's a bit of a comedian, he does some pretty good films. Well, in my opinion anyway. But, he goes to this planet, and basically the town and the city is enclosed in a massive dome. And that was the basic idea, so I'm building a city. I don't know how many episodes this will take, but I'm going to do it in a few. I'm going to get to the outskirts, or as many blocks as it allow me to do without blowing up my game again, and we'll see. So, I'll just take you through it through the grand tour of the centralised area. The centralised area is for public services. So we've got the fire department here on the left, and we've got the police station. We also have the town hall over there. We have a car park, a supermarket, and the hotel. So let me take you around. So let's go into the government building first. So on the left and right here, we have two guard little sheds. And what I'm going to build out is uh, out of some small ships here. It's two little things you can rise up and down. So bar little barricade sort of things you can rise up and down. So no one can come and raid the place. And obviously gravity is going to be enforced on this. And there'll be a big dome above with locker entrances at both ends. With sort of prison, sort of, well not prison. But sort of hangar airlock doors. So that's the presidential Humvee. My personal transport vehicle. So inside, this is where the council, the council's rulings begin. So I'll drop this through here, and up here is the main council chamber. So people will gather here from all over the galaxy to discuss sort of rules, regulations, and laws, and so on. So we've got the council sort of chambers on there, and we've also got these little office blocks here where the council workers will file paperwork away all day until they're blue in the face. So we've got them little rooms for paperwork munchers right there, and let's head back outside. So there's not too much done in here, and it's definitely not finished. But I just wanted to get the feeling of it and try to get the scale right as well. Because I want to build this and extend this tiles upon tiles out, and then eventually, hopefully, when they introduce some sort of glass block, that would be really nice, like a clear block that looks like glass. That would be pretty good. So here's the car park. The car park at the moment is just a storage area for vehicles that I've been building and experimenting with. We've got the camper van up top, we've got a blue transit, and we've also got two little red cars. And let's go over to the fire station. So, uh, one of the jobs in the Empire, of course, are on this little um, planetary installation or colony or whatever you want to call it. It's hundreds of words. So, you see the fire service. And you might think there's not going to be many fires in space, but in an airtight dome, I believe there will be. So, there it is. That's the fighter's truck. Obviously, it's still movable. It's still going to have a crater underneath it, like, like it's been smashing into the ground. And over here, we have the police station. So, we've got the police van that um, you can lock your criminals up in the back. And you've got some police cars for some high-speed pursuits through the city. Obviously, we're in the future here, so each car can actually hover and vehicle take off. Wheels are just a courtesy item. They're not really needed. You could probably take them off. I might try a different design. So, let's actually take a car for a spin. What should we take? Should we take the fire truck, the police car, or the, the Humvee over there? Mm, which is probably easiest to get in. Let's, should, we, let's, should we just get in the police car? Yeah, let's get in the police car. So, you've probably noticed that I've not got doors yet. Obviously, doors would be much appreciated. So we have to currently go in like so, and then we come up inside, and then the cockpit's there at the back. So here we go. We've got the car. Get some working sirens. We could probably do some sirens out of beacons. We're just going to go over the pedestrian highway there, and we're going to take a left. And we don't we need to cross this intersection here. So we're going to cross this intersection, and we're going to take a left there, and head towards the supermarket. So we'll take another left. And we're heading towards the supermarket now. So I've got my nice little police car. Pull anyone over who's up to anything. So we've got a sale on at the supermarket. There we go. It says sale and it says market. And we've got a nice sign that's lit up there. So we'll take a left and have a look at that. Sadly, the supermarket... Is, I didn't realise this when I was building this. I'll explain it in a moment. I'm just going to park this thing here. Okay. And stop some traffic. We'll get ourselves out. And there we go. So I didn't notice this when I was actually building it, but it's actually in the shade of an asteroid. So that that's problematic, but I lit up the sign anyway. I'll show you how I've done this. Basically, I've just basically lit the lights underneath. And something I've also noticed as well is sometimes what you can do is if you have a if you have a actual cockpit on here and you lock these against them, sometimes when you take the cockpit off, they'll unlock by themselves, and that's never good. So we've got another car design there. And then there's inside the superstore that we need to actually sort out, get some tills, get some desks in. 
and across the street is the Grand Hotel because obviously if people are visiting here they didn't need somewhere to stay so each one of these is going to be a little um, apartment slash room obviously you've got that way across there you've got the sign and you've got another side to it as well so these are going to be entrance rooms and this will be like a foyer in the middle it should be really nice but anyway that's enough of this and hopefully it's give you some inspiration to maybe think further than what most people are building like most people I've seen are building ships and space stations but maybe this is just a giant space station actually but we'll see where we take this anyway I might see it in the next episode or if you guys want something else request it below and I'll try to get another video out maybe a ship hmm, I don't know maybe turn this into a giant ship and have it engines but oh, that'd be weird moving city or oh, like enclosed it in a massive ship and have a town inside a ship I don't know I'm, I'm just thinking of too many ideas now so I'll see you next time guys and thank you for watching